flesh of the victims is hot. I spit truth without a filter, like every comedian before hashtag me too. As a guy, I can do anything. An uncomfortable work environment? And let me guess, you struggle to believe that because most guys don't believe that's an actual thing. This, this is, is not okay. This needs to stop now. This is cancer. This, this is so much cancer that I can feel the tumors growing on my back. And it's way down heavy on me. And it's not okay. Early Doomer. Well, I've finally done it. As hard as it was to get through it, I've finally done a roast of Velma Season 2, Episode 1. My name is Velma Dinkley. Actually, I'm going to call her Mindy so that it's less confusing. I know someone's out there. And if you give me six to ten weeks to investigate, I'll figure out who. Please don't give her any time. Just finish her off now so we don't have to watch this crap. Though, I'm also pretty jumpy. Ah, uh, don't kill me! I'm about to attend a super cool party and I'm not even crashing! Poor Mindy. All she wanted as a teen was to get invited to a party. But no one wanted her for some reason. Velma, relax! It's just me! And word of advice, saying a party is cool is not cool. Saying that saying a party is cool is not cool is also not cool. Now come on, give me your hand, the party's this way. Unfortunately, catching a serial killer has taught me nothing about solving the mystery of teen romance. <laughs> I give myself 10 minutes before I'm asked to leave. It hasn't even been two minutes and I'm already wishing you weren't here. I'm so glad you're here. Me too. <laughs> but I thought, you just held my hand. It was romantic as hell. No, it wasn't. You're goddamn right. It was practical. I didn't want you stepping on all the broken glass and used condoms out here. Wow. A bunch of teenagers covered a forest in garbage? Seems like California, all right. Why can't you just admit you want to be together? Because you told Norval you loved him. That was an accident literally seven times, and figuratively a billion times. I know what she means. I tell random people that I love them by accident all the time. God, look! It's Sheriff Cogburn! What do you mean you need to exhume my mother's body? Seriously, I don't know what that means. In case you didn't know, he's white, which means he can only be portrayed as extremely dumb and incompetent. Velma, Victoria is dead. We saw her get impaled by a stalactite. I've also seen a picture of Victoria's original nose. She has the money to fix anything. Apparently, Mindy thinks money can resurrect the dead. I can't have this town thinking ghosts commit crime. Yeah, but thinking that dead people commit them is fine. Nice to meet a fellow rationalist. What brings you to our grisly crime scene? Well, I'm Amber, and I just moved here with my mom. I was in a band called the Hex Girls. No, you weren't. You're just one of the many abominations created by Mindy. If physics doesn't have all the answers, why not at least consider other ideas? Physics doesn't have all the answers, so let's get a disgusting haircut and join a cult. Okay, you know what? Forget this. There's been a murder, and the only person who can help me solve it is my old faithful, Norville. I miss you, my friend. Nah, delete. Hey, text me back, dude! Classic Mindy. Always an asshole to everyone. Is that Mr. Swindig? What's he doing here? Selma, do not embarrass yourself. Yes, what's your internship doing here? I thought you weren't back from sabbatical until internship. Not bad, Velma. Well, I just threw up in my mouth. <laughs> oh, Mr. S. And you can tell me about all that happened to you and your lovely mother. We used to have flirty conversations about whether you should be medicated. I wish he could have convinced her. We can talk about it in biology class tomorrow. Internship. Definitely should be medicated. You're goddamn right. Whoa, someone has the munchies! Of course he does. The fans have to be reminded how Shaggy's character is being desecrated. Smoke all that weed I gave you. It helps. Oh, I so am. We get it. You're a black guy that doesn't do drugs because expectations need to be subverted. Good. I hate watching you suffer. And blazing a fat one really helps me with that. I sure hope no kids are watching this show. I even got my dogs on the team. It's a gimmick, but it works. It worked for the original show, just not for this one. And I have to do the one thing I swore I never would. Manual labor. I bet even her cartoon character doing it was tough on Mindy. Huh. Who's there? Ah! Oh. Ah, crap. I was hoping it's finally over. <gasps> They're sneaker. Oh, I got you, sucker. They were attacked? Yes, but now I can pull a print off their shoe once my mom goes to sleep. She made me promise I wouldn't solve mysteries anymore. Don't ask me why Mindy keeps Coco near her bathtub. I don't know either. And also, I don't want to know. Mom, please! Solving mysteries is not that big a deal! I mean, you're still writing them! My last book almost got your brain ripped out! What's weird is how her brain doesn't get ripped out by that clumpy mess on her head. Seriously, how is she alive? That's like 30 pounds of hair by the looks of it. Oh my, come on! Being popular isn't just all partying and eating yogurt on museum steps! There's work involved! Because being popular is like a job. 
If only Mindy could have actually experienced what it's like. She's about to realize her nicotine gum isn't in her purse, center console, or bra. Wow. Is there a single character in this crap who's not deathly addicted to something? Amber does have a certain magnetism about them. About them? Is she more than one person? What convinced you, Daphne? Was it my increasingly unhinged text? Amazing. So Mindy actually knows how crazy she is. No need to hide my cats before you arrive. Well, I've forgiven you. They have not. How am I not surprised that she's already collecting cats? Everything okay? You shouldn't be sighing like that until you've been together at least a year. A whole year? That's like twice as long as the average lesbian so-called marriage lasts. I, I don't know. Because you also told Sonia Sotomayor that you loved her. I don't know who that is, and somehow I feel good about it. Jinx! Staircase! To the van mobile! <laughs> <gasps> my shoe! Fred, your dumb dogs destroyed my one piece of hard evidence! You left the only evidence in a murder case just lying around unsupervised at a public place. So that was 100% your fault. Just promise you won't talk about anything that's happened to us. I have so many more interesting things to talk about than you and me. No, you don't. Okay, sorry. I can't do this. I have to talk about us. Why would you text me back? Uh Maybe because you are constantly being an asshole to him? <gasps> Mother, why aren't you making me walk home from my ballet recital? And we have officially reached the peak cringe stage. Oh, right. Because Norville killed you! Norville, watch out! Was the bomb. Uh, go fuck yourself. Will laughing make them stop? Because I'm more of a satirist that makes you think. No, you just make people want to off themselves. Big difference. At least if we both die, I can torment you in hell. Well, at least she's somewhat self-aware and knows what's coming to her. Wait, why is there an air mattress on my floor? Because someone put it there. And why are the vibes in here so abnormally chill? Oh, we're moving in until my mom's occult bookstore takes off, so possibly forever. But my mom's found Conquering's body yesterday. And before that, they thought he was on vacation or at a problematic rally. Problematic rally. Meaning destroying the property of others for fun. Oh, that was their cover story. Cover story? And now I'm sensing it. Open the casket. <laughs> oh, God. I fell asleep in there. Makes sense. I also always stab the air around myself with a stake when I wake up. There. Fred? What are you doing in there? I was investigating, and it's exhausting. You were investigating how you can sleep in a coffin? Oh, that the revenge! Oh, God! It's the ghost of Sheriff Con and we have reached yet another new low. Pearl Cockburn was my identical twin brother! Identical? Every man over 50 looks the same to me. True. Well, it looks like the Marxists were right after all. Sexism really is alive and well. What they don't usually mention, though, is that it comes from them and targets men only. Yeah, I knew it wasn't a ghost. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, me too. No, you didn't. You both have brains the size of a chipmunk's that was born without a brain. <laughs> Nothing, except the general weirdness that goes with being in a coffin. No, it seems like you're perfectly comfortable in there. Otherwise, you would have already left. How big is that thing anyway? <laughs> Drop it! <laughs> Maybe solving mysteries with dogs is a mistake. Well, none of you have solved anything with or without them anyway, so... As sad as we are that Sheriff Cogburn died, the silver lining is... There's no other way we would have this chance to be co-sheriffs. Let's be real. It's California, and you check more boxes than an Amazon delivery guy. You would have gotten the job just by showing up. I never would have become mayor if my opponent hadn't drowned in my bathtub. Exactly! There you go, folks. The moral compass of Mindy and her buddies. Just trample over everything and everyone until you get what you want. Enough with your ridiculous spooky stuff hunting business. Our family name can only take so much embarrassment. Better get used to it. You're white males, so your only purpose in this crap is to be pissed on. It don't puke on that. It's evident. She throws up just by looking at some blood on the wall, and they wonder why they don't want them as sheriffs. Daphne, I think we might have pimped my mom out to Cogburn's actual murderer. Yeah, that seems like something Mindy would do. I'm sorry I accidentally killed your mom. Fine, apology accepted. Because I have to on account of my new faith. If you think you had to, why wait until now? Where's Mr. S? Did he try to kill you? Kill me? I've never felt more alive. This, this, this is not okay. This needs to stop now. Where's Mr. S? Did he kill Cogburn? And if he didn't, can we say he did? Oh, they want to frame the white male. How surprising. A suspect would really help our campaign. What? The diversity hires are incompetent? Who could have seen that coming? Maybe it's best if you do keep solving mysteries. Keep solving? She hasn't solved one. You've been protecting me this whole time. That's so romantic. <laughs> Only immutable essence inside of me is Beyonce's incomparable if I were a boy. Well, at least Mindy is aware that she has no soul. What do you know about Dr. Enda Purdue? And like, women in general? I'm having some 
problems with my girl. There is your proof that Mindy isn't actually a woman. <laughs> well, he's probably better off dead. At least he won't have to be in this crap show anymore. Okay guys, it seems like it's finally over, thank god. If you managed to survive this, give it a like, write your thoughts down below, and take a look at my other videos as well. You may also want to check out my recently published book about the world of lies we live in, found in the description. See you all in the next one.